Hey guys, so today I'm back with a Shop Miss A haul since I had so much fun doing the first one and so many of you guys enjoyed the first one. Um, I thought I'd do another Shop Miss A haul. So I have my package here and it just came in the mail today. I've been waiting for this. And I know a lot of you asked me in the last one how long did my shipping take. So it took about 10 days. Or it did take 10 days. Um, it took 10 days to get here. And they do say that when you do the shipping that it will take 7 to 10 days domestic shipping. And that's what I am domestic because they are located in Texas. I know a lot of you asked me how much shipping was. And it is $3.95. And they do have international shipping. Although I know they don't go everywhere, just check um, where they offer the international shipping. And I don't know the price of that since I'm not international and I haven't checked. And sorry if I sound nasally, I am still sick. I'm just getting over the cough part. I know whenever I do get sick, the cough is the thing that stays with me longer than like the congestion or the runny nose. It's always the cough. So I'm just going to open this up. I love how they always come so bubbled and like protected. So this is what it looks like. And I wrap it around in tissue paper. So I don't even remember what I got, but I got 39 things. 39? 29 things. So they haven't really got that many new things that I wanted to try. But I got some makeup that I didn't have because many of you said to do a Shop Miss A makeup look. And I thought I would go all out and do my whole face so I got products that I don't have from Shop Miss A like I know I bought a whole bunch of lip products so I bought like I know now I know what I bought I bought eyeshadow um stuff for my brows foundations and since I already have brushes I'm set so let's get right into the haul so the first thing that I see is the clean color brows essential kit so it brings a brush the brow powder which looks very dark for me. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it's just the reflection on them. And it brings... Oh, I forgot it brings these. It brings... Um, but they bring stencils. They're just clear papers. They're plastic things. And I wonder if they fit my brows. Since my brows are so freaking unique. And a pain. Um, this one kind of does. Just it's a little bit thicker and doesn't reach to the end. So it just brings a brush that I will probably never use since it feels so fake and synthetic. I like to use more of a chocolate, chocolate, more of a taupe brown color for my eyebrows. So I think this will work. Um, it's pretty lightly pigmented. Doesn't really show up. But again, you don't want your brows to be super dark. So the next thing that I got is an Olivera facial mask. And I love Olivera masks. Um, because I used to even have an Olivera tree in my backyard and I would cut off the, like, the plant part. <laughs> I don't know. And I would, like, skin it and then put, even though it smells so gross, but I know Olivera is so good for you. And even when I had sunburn, I would do the same because it's, like, natural and it will really help your skin. So I really love their mask from here. And um, I used all the, the two that I had previously, so I wanted to buy more. And I wanted to try a different brand, so I bought this one. What is this? Oh yeah, I bought um, tempered glass for my phone. And I've had my iPhone 6 for ever, or right when it, no, not right when it came out, because I had a, still an iPhone 5. But I've never had a glass protector on it. Oh, and it's not broken. So I can't wait to put this on it. I think I bought two of those. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I bought two. Because I was scared if one of them came broken. You know, when you have to... <gasps> I'm about to break it myself. <laughs> got another one. Glass protector. Oh, I like how they even give you... They even give you wipes um, to clean it. Like, one wet, one dry. And then guide stickers. So you get that on right. I think this one is better quality than the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's like, actually feels like glass glass. Because the other one feels more plasticky. So if you want this one, it looks like this. So it's the Premium Tempered Glass Protector. I also got an e.l.f. brush. And I know you can get e.l.f. anywhere, but I never find their eyeshadow brushes. They're always sold out. 
And for being a dollar, I said, why not? Just grab it now. And it is just their defining eye brush. And again, I wanted to do a look, so I even bought some eyeshadow brushes. So when I bought another one, I guess. And it is their blending eye brush. I wonder how this one is. Oh yeah, it's more round. Pretty good for a dollar. And this is the Princesa um, eyeshadow brush. And this is more like of a lid brush I'm costing. Yeah. More of just a thin shade brush. Cool. So another thing that I got are hair um, bands. I've actually been wanting to try some of these. I never try them, but since I, my hair is always up, I said give it a go. And this feels like I will fit my head. I have a big head. So that one's cute. And I remember this one. It said red in the description. This isn't red. This is burgundy. But it's still cute. I like burgundy. It'll match my hair. So another thing I got is their AOA Studio Wonder Blender. And I don't know how good it'll be. It feels really kind of rough. But I will try this out in my makeup tutorial. But I really like that brand's brushes, so maybe their beauty blender will be good. So I got this other little pouch full of stuff. And I guess I got a phone charger. And this is a USB just data cable. And I'm always skeptical of these because they never work. Doesn't feel too cheapy. But we'll see how long that lasts. Because I've bought a dollar ones or like even five dollar ones and they break. And I also got a body piercing. Well, it's for my belly ring that I have. And I just want a new one and I wanted to try a dollar. And I'm not really sensitive to metal. So a dollar you can't beat it when you just need an extra one. So moving on to the majority of makeup that I bought. And I remember I bought this lipstick just because it had gold in it. I don't know the name of it because it's not on here. I will list everything that I got down below. Oh, and I really like this color. You can tell it's really, really matte. Like, mm, usually matter than, hmm, not that great of a payoff. It's really not the color that it looks like. But I did get it just because it was gold. So I wanted to try another foundation stick and I was really guessing on what my color was. And this is the Muse, a Muse, 3-in-1 foundation stick and this is the color Fair. So I don't... Nothing came off. Like, look. Maybe because it's my skin color, but literally, let's try my hand. Oh, okay. I was about to say, very little payoff, but it should match me. We'll try it. I also got a concealer crayon from Beauty Treats. It is a smooth, creamy coverage. Oh, and it's in the color 6. This looks really dark. It didn't look that... Okay, I can use this as a contour. Not a concealer. This color is not the color I thought it was going to be. But, whatever. Oh, and I also got another foundation. It is their Santee Aqua Stylish Silky Milk Foundation. And it has SPF 20 oil-free foundation. And it is in the number 4. And this looks way too orange for me. I don't know why it doesn't show up the color that it really is but it looks really orange I mean I know I'm kind of tan but this color is just way too dark for me I didn't think it was gonna be that dark maybe I could use it combined with the stick foundation I'll figure something out and I also wanted to try their LA colors ultimate liquid liner oh yeah as I thought it has a really rough tip like it does not bend it's not a brush but I actually tend to like these. But it's really, really black. Let's see if it dries. Shiny or matte. Because I really like a matte uh, eyeliner instead of a shiny one. 
and I got some more clean colors madly colors but these are actually their lip glosses and I wanted to try their lip glosses so this is in the color brick whoa for a gloss that is really cool so this is brick this is really really good color payoff for a dollar I think I'll really like this I'm getting more into glosses as you can see I have a gloss on right now and I wanted to try more so I bought that one and then I also bought the color cinnamon oh. oh I really like this one this one actually doesn't feel like a gloss it feels like a lipstick so this is an uh, eyebrow pencil that I bought and it is in the color brown and it is more of a, like a chestnut brown I mean it would it could work but it's not technically the color I like for my brow so maybe this can work for my mom or something something else I got were eyeshadows and it is their LA Colors matte eyeshadows and these are pretty colors they're not bad oh pretty good pigment they feel a little chalky, but it's doable. And I also got another eyeshadow from LA Colors in Terracotta. And this color was really, really pretty on the website. But this is the color. It's really, really pretty. It's like a burnt red. Oh, really good payoff. Yeah, look at that for a dollar. I need to buy more of these. I was skeptical of these, but I want to buy more. And I also got two bronzers. I got Giovanni Sun Glow uh, Shimmer Bronze. And this one looks really pretty. That, oh, you can't tell. It looks kind of matte. But it's really, really shimmery. This can actually go for a highlight for someone who has, like, a deep, deeper skin tone. Because it's that shimmery. And it looks really, really beautiful. So this would look really beautiful on your skin. It would look really good during the summer on top of a bronzer. And then I also got this one. It was their Santee Mineral Press Powder. And it looks like this. So it's like a moon. Half a moon. And I like this one. This one's... Oh, that was really smooth. Just touching it because it's smooth. Wow. I don't know if I picked the right shade for me of the bronzer, but I really like this blush. So this is a blush. I like. I don't like to use colors that are that bright. More of a mauve tone. I'll probably look into buying a different color shade. The final four last items that I bought, and they're all blushes. These are the Clean Color Miss Chick, Miss Chick, uh, Universally Flattering Blush. So I got these four shades. So the first one that I got is Sun Baked. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, that is really pretty. Oh, that's super pigmented as well. Oh, it's really smooth. Really, really smooth texture. I really like that. I like this color. Again, I don't like super pink blushes, so this one I'd really like. The next one is Gypsy. More of a mauve tone. This is perfect up my alley. You kind of have to swipe back and forth on this one to get like color payoff, but I mean you don't want that much color payoff on your blush you just want a subtle touch so I really like this one gypsy the next one I got is mauve I mean this kinda looks like a mauve color on camera it looks more of a mauve color in person it kinda looks more purple yeah it even looks purple on my skin but it probably won't show like that on camera I don't know why it's not well from my viewfinder it doesn't look as purple as what I see in person I mean, for a blush, I don't know if I'll like this color, um, but maybe a little subtle color might not hurt. And the last one is Rosewood. Oh, see, this is my more mauve shade that I like. More of a subtle one, not so purple. And it is the one that doesn't really pay off, of course. So I had to dip it in a couple times, but I really, really like this shade. And I really like Rosewood and Gypsy. Those are my two favorite blushes. So that is it for my Shop Miss A haul. I hope you enjoyed. I really like doing these um, hauls, and I hope you do too. And again, I will list everything that I bought down below. Hopefully, I will get out my Shop Miss A makeup tutorial using only Shop Miss A products out soon. I'll try to film that as soon as possible. I have some other videos in mind that I want to get out. 
So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.